Welcome to 2020 Royal Technology and Partnership Conference. Let's welcome Chairman and CEO of Royal Corporation, Dr. Bill Liu. Distinguished guests, partners, friends, and everyone in front of the screens. Thank you for your time to join our annual technology and partnership conference. Well, this year is so special because of the global coronavirus situation. We had to move our conference from on-site to online. Here, we would like to extend our best wishes and warm greetings to everyone around the world. And we hope you and your family stay healthy and safe. The international community is making great efforts to fight against the virus. And a lot of new technologies, including biomedical engineering, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and telecommunications, are being used to help control the situation. We hope everything will get back to normal very soon. And I look forward to meeting you face to face without a mask. But well, this year, the topic of the conference is flexible displays unfold the future. Let's look back to the history first. In 1980s, personal computers changed the way we work. In 1990s, the internet changed the way we connect. And in 2000, especially in 2007, the mobile internet changed the way we communicate. So now everybody is asking, what's gonna be the future? We believe the Internet of Things, or we call it IoT, is gonna be the future. There are three major fundamental areas for the IoT. Perception, computation, and communication. So we know AI is the infrastructure for the computation. 5G is the infrastructure for communication. But what is the infrastructure for perception? Human-machine interface. Well, among all of the perception systems, vision is the most important way for people to experience and interact with the world. Display technology is the main human-machine interface to support vision. People have been exploring different technologies on the display. And I guess many of you remember, in last century, CRT technologies was very popular. And followed by LCD, which is still used today. Both CRT and LCD are quite rigid, and it's heavy. And it's not portable enough. So we are looking for something new. In the past decade, the OLED, OLED technology, is getting more and more mature. And the rigid flat display, or rigid curve the display based on OLED, has been used in many consumer electronics, like smartphones. So you can see the smartphone with the curved edge. You know, sometimes people also call the curved display as flexible display. And we think it's more appropriate to call this display as curved display, not flexible display. Flexible display means you can bend it or fold it. You can change the form factor after you purchase a device. Curved display was different. And the technology is also different. So Royal was founded with the focus on the fully flexible display. What does it mean by fully flexible display? The major difference between the curve of the display and the fully flexible display is we can actually change the form factor anytime, anywhere, for many times after you purchase a device. 
So in 2014, so we introduced the first generation Cicada Win fully flexible display with a thickness of only 0.01 millimeter. And we believe the fully flexible display is going to be the next big wave. So if we look at how the human machine interface changed the way we design a mobile device, then we can understand where we will, where we will go. So in the 1990s, the feature phone based on small black and white display and the dial pads made huge success at that time. And in 2007, when Apple introduced the first iPhone based on big touch screen without dial pads, and you can basically use your fingers to control the software, this kind of change in the human machine interface just changed everything. Changed the hardware, the software, the operating system, and even the whole ecosystem. That's the power of human machine interface. So with a fully flexible display in our company, we introduced the first foldable smartphone with fully flexible display in 2018, the FlexPi. FlexPi combines the portability from traditional smartphone and the big screen visual experience from the tablet or from the pad into a single device. First ever. So now you can easily put your pad or tablet into your pocket because of the fully flexible display technologies. This is the next generation human machine interface. We believe this kind of a new human machine interface will not only change the hardware, but also the software, the operating system, and the business model, and the entire ecosystem. So, since last year, we started a shipment of the foldable smartphone, the FlexPi, to the market. And today, there are already a lot of users uh, using our FlexPi, including myself. That's actually my only smartphone, my only tablet, all together. It's not a concept device. It was in mass production and shipped to the market and provide totally different values for the customers. So today, the industry sees more and more potential and huge values they have. And it's forecast, the foldable smartphone will have a huge, will have a rapid growth rate. It could be 200, 300% annual growth rate. But we will see. But we do believe the foldable smartphone with fully flexible display it's not a traditional smartphone. It's a reinvention of the smartphone. It will change the way we use the traditional consumer electronics. So since the first day of our company, we have been exploring the cutting edge solutions and technologies for the ultimate visual experience the basic demand from human on the display, its portability and large screen visual experience. Like we just mentioned, it's a conflict between portability and big screen for the traditional technologies. Everyone loves watching big TV at home, but you can't put that in pocket. 
Everyone loves the smartphone portability because you can easily put it in the pocket, right? You can take it anywhere. With a fully flexible display, now you can solve this kind of conflict. And just to provide a perfect combination of the, the functionalities into a single device. And actually with a lower cost. Well, we came up with the flexible display idea many, many years ago, even back to our school days. And in 2012, we started the company with the mission to transform the way people experience the world, interact with the world, with the fully flexible display technologies. We started from scratch. In 2014, we successfully launched the first 0.01 millimeter fully flexible display. And in 2015, we also started the mass production of the fully flexible sensors. This is also the proprietary technology in our company. And in 2016, we started the construction of the production campus for the fully flexible displays. And it went successful, went to successful mass production in 2018. That was the first commercial mass production line for the fully flexible display. Since 2019, we started to expand our partnership with a lot of leaders in different industry and to create totally different innovative products, groundbreaking products in different industry. And we'll show you some examples later. Well, as you can see, we went through zero to one process for technology innovation. And then one to M process for mass production. And then N to M plus process for applications. So since we launched the first foldable smartphone, the FlexPi with a flexible display in 2018, there are more and more companies joining in the flexible industry to develop the foldable smartphones. This is great, but this is not easy. Well, I'm pretty sure many of you have noticed the feedback from the market on all of those foldable devices. Here, just showed a few examples of the typical problems on the current foldable smartphones on the market. Like the crease, it cracks the display malfunction. So, what is the problem? What is the physics behind this problem? How does this happen? Let's explain this a little bit on the fundamental material physics. So the fully flexible display is composed of almost 100 different micro nanomaterials stacking together. And the material property for each layer is different. So when you have so many layers stacking together, and during the bending, folding, and unfolding process, you will see quite a few problems like this. This is the strain recovery problem. This is the layer peeling problem. This is the layer slippage. But then how can we solve these problems? Well, there are so many different choices for the flexible materials. And there are just countless combinations of, of all of this stacking. So it's impossible to experiment everything because there are so many choices, so many options. 
And that's why the R&D process was always so slow. And it's, that's why it's so difficult for the customization of the fully flexible displays. And if you think about all of this together, you can imagine how difficult it is for the mass production of this kind of fully flexible displays. So we actually realized all of these problems many years ago. So we started to think about, can we solve all of this by a smart way? Our team, our engineering team, our scientist team, put in a lot of efforts you know, to try to develop a new model, simulation model called Smart Mechanical Simulation Model. How does that work? So we built, the, we built a Smart Mechanical Simulation Model by building a database for the material properties, for the parameters, for each layers, and then we established the simulation frame, framework based on the physical models. And then we keep updating the physical models, the, the parameters, by matching the simulation and the experiments. In this way, so we can actually rapid, we can realize rapid mass production and even customization as needed. For us to make a great user experience, it's always the top priority. So we put, we identify all of those major features that can significantly impact the user experience, like the display malfunction, the crease, the smoothness, the crack, the misplacement, and many others. And then we narrow down all of those features into three major categories. For material science analysis, and then we put all of this into the simulation model. So, with all of this, and we can much faster, we can be much faster to identify the best stacking, the best parameters, and the best choice for the materials. So let's take a look how it works. This is the crease that has been seen in other foldable screens on the market, like this. And now, with our optimization, we have been able to produce the third generation Cicada with fully flexible display with a smoothness like this. It's just totally different. And here, the video just shows a more straightforward comparison between our third generation Cicada Wind flexible display to other choices, other technologies. All right, he also shows the surface smoothness of the foldable screens on the market and our technologies. And it's like a mirror, it's super smooth. Another thing, the film separation, okay. Because of a different bending radius and also the different material properties of these layers. So when you, during the folding and unfolding process, it's very easy to see this kind of a film separation. Now with optimization in, in our team, we're able to totally erase the film separation issue. There's no peeling at all. Folding device, actually, it's not easy. You can sometimes fold it for 10 times, 100 times, even 1,000 times. But that could be useless for some consumer products because people don't want to just fold devices for 100 times or 1,000 times. For our testing, the dozens of layers we have to do the bending test for over 200,000 times bending. And the display module also has to survive after 200,000 times for the bending. 
And we also have done a lot of tests on the end product to make sure the product is reliable enough, even for long-time use. This is all our, our testing in the company. And you, can, and you can see how it works for our reliability test. Not only the bending test, but also like scratch test, the twist test, the uh, stretch test, and the drop test. And we want to make sure the best user experience for the fully flexible display and the product. Well, I'm very impressed by this, by the twisting test. So twist the display in this way is different in this way. And this is a lot harder. Let's also take a look at the uh, display performance. There are a few major parameters that you might care about, um, like color gamma, uh, like the contrast ratio, like the response time. The color gamma for the Cicada win the third generation is 30% better than the high-end LCD. And on the contrast ratio, it's 500 times better than the high-end LCD and a few times better than our second generation Cicada win. And for the response time, which determines the speed of the display or your device, now, the response time for the Cicada Win display for the third generation, it's only 4% of the traditional LCD. Also, while people, when, you, when people use the devices, you won't always just look at this very, you know, in this angle. You could look at the devices in this angle, this angle, right? That's what we call it. the color performance of different viewing angles. Well now, let's compare the, the brightness attenuation at 30 degrees. As you can see from here. So this is our third generation Cicada win. It's only 25%, it's only 25% of the brightness attenuation compared to the high-end LCD. And also, a lot less than other foldable displays on the market. Look at the color shift at 30 degrees. The third generation Cicada with flexible display, it's only 33% of the high-end LCD. And it's also much better than other photobook displays on the market. So here is a very straightforward appearance of how you look at the, it, how it looks at 30 degrees viewing angle. You can clearly tell the difference. This is the third generation Cicada Win. And the display performance it's just a lot better than other technologies right now on the market. So we also have done proprietary design for the driver IC, a driver integrated circuits, to make sure the display works best with the system. And with the third generation Cicada Win display, you can design diverse form factors, you know, uh, for different applications, and there are just numerous unlimited possibilities with this displays. So we have over 30 laboratories. We have four R&D campus, and with over 300, with over 3,000 IPs dedicated to the R&D on the flexible technologies. And we have 60% of our workforce dedicated to the R&D. So 
innovation is surely in our DNA. Well, in the past few years, so our team has devoted a lot of efforts to make the new technologies work. And we have successfully developed the ultra-low temperature non-silicon semiconductor process. We call it a ULT and SSP technology. Compared to other display technologies, like the typical polysilicon-based technologies or LTPS technology, the material, the process, the device design, circuit design, module design, and uh, the uh, process, and even production equipment, it's very different. And we can use lower upfront investment to achieve the mass production with higher yield and with higher bending reliability or flexibility. Again, it's got to be in fully flexible display. It's not a concept. It's in mass production. And it has been in mass production since 2018. That's the picture our team taken during this, the, uh, this ceremony in 2018. Well, this is the picture of our production facility. And it's a highly automated production facility for the fully flexible displays. With the highly automated production line, you can save, you can actually reduce the contamination, you can enhance the yield. And then you can also enhance the production efficiency. So, this is the third generation Cicada Win fully flexible display. With the outstanding display performance and the reliability, our third generation Cicada Win full, fully flexible display, it's a lot better than the earlier generation technologies. And it's also a lot more competitive to other technologies on the market. This is getting into mass production, and we are ready to provide the technologies and the displays for our business clients, for our partners, for your innovative product design. Today, I'm very proud to introduce a very important strategic partner, ZTE. As you know, ZTE is a global leader in the telecommunication industry. And ZTE is also a global pioneer in the 5G technologies. ZTE has done a lot of innovative work on the mobile device business. And today I'm also very honored to introduce Mr. Xu Feng, the Senior Vice President of ZTE and the President of ZTE Mobile Device. Please welcome Mr. Xu Feng. 下面有请中兴通讯高级副总裁、中兴通讯终端事业部总裁徐峰先生上台演讲。Senior Vice President at ZTE Corporation, the President of ZTE Mobile Device Division to deliver the speech. Thank you very much. Thanks for Dr. Liu. What a wonderful presentation. Well, today I'm here and I'm very much honored on behalf of the ZTE Corporation to attend the strategic partnership announcement between Wuhan and the ZTE Corporation. I believe today would be a day fell into our memory. ZTE works with Royal by working together. I hope that we can provide 
amazing product to our customer in the market. Please allow me to brief you on ZTE. ZTE always uphold ourselves as a pioneer of the 5G technology. Since 2012 on, we started the 5G technological R&D and we are also among the first batch of the enterprises in the world for the 5G technology R&D. Since 2015, every year, and we invest more than 10 billion in 5G technological R&D. So now we have the patent standard. And we have devices, systems, chips, and algorithms of 5G. And we also have the operating system and AI technology to provide the end-to-end 5G solution. In this way, we can provide a better 5G experience to the users. Well, you can also see here are a few statistics I'd like to share with you. And we participated in the standard making committee, and we also made ourselves present. And we also applied for many patents of the 5G. We are taking the leadership in this way, especially the TSI, the basic patent application volume, we are ranking at the top three in the world of that. And I say that it's truly a great result for many years of hard work, and we are proud of that. Now let's talk about the smartphone business. I say that Many people have a preference over the purple phones. In January 2018, we launched the first purple dual-screen smartphone named Axonam. Once we launched into the market, this product has been highly recognized. But I have to mention, there is always a gap between beautiful dreams and reality. That gap is a piece of flexible screen or display. Well, we can say that last year in Barcelona, we have already launched the first 5G commercial available smartphone. The name is Axon 10 Pro. And it's being available in China, Middle East, and Northern Europe at the first 5G commercial available smartphone. And we would like to leverage 5G technology and the technological innovation to bring ultimate new experience to our global users. And this month, we also newly released the new generation of the ZTE Axon 11 5G. This is the first 5G radio smartphone ZTE launched by leveraging the 5G technology and its robust video competency. We hope that we can help our users to record those wonderful moments of their life so everyone could be a director of your own life. Well, in the near future, ZTE will continue to uphold our innovation ideas and the strategy. We hope by, in terms of the 5G communication technology, our video algorithm, we're going to make continuous innovation. I also hope that by working with Rou, by having the fully flexible display product to our Rou, to bring the flexible wings to our 5G product, so that we can serve the market better. Please please stay on the stage, and now let's welcome Dr. Liu to the stage. Now we shall start a strategic partnership on the foundation. Now, please help to present the signing document. Our本次签约方式比较特别，是通过荣宇的智能手写本邮寄实现的。我们可以在大屏幕看到，在邮寄上书写的内容能够实时同步到大屏上。签约完毕，祝贺柔宇和中心，请二位在台上合影留念。感谢二位，现在有请徐峰先生回位就座。Mr. Xu Feng, you may go back to your seat.
。接下来，让我们把舞台再次交给刘自宏博士。Thank you for the presentation by Mr. Xu. Well, we are so looking forward to the partnership ahead. Well, since the first day of the company inception, we have been dedicated to the fully flexible display and fully flexible technologies. So our mission is to transform the way people experience and interact with the world. And in the past few years, our team has made a few significant milestones. So we introduced the first and the thinnest fully flexible display with a thickness of only 0.01 millimeter. And we started the mass production for the fully flexible display back to 2018 as the first commercially available mass production line. We launched the first foldable smartphone with fully flexible display in 2018, the FlexPi. And today, we're also serving the most industries using the flexible technologies. We want to be the trusted solution provider for our business clients and business partners in different industry across mobile device, smart transportation, smart home, sports and fashion, office and education, and media entertainment, and maybe others. And here I want to show you a few examples of how we can work together with great partners in different industry. In the global market for the fully flexible display in the flexible electronics industry could reach over $300 billion based on the industry forecast. Well, we started the shipment of the flexible display to the market back to 2018. And there are more and more applications in different industry already. So we are proud to work with our great partner, Louis Vuitton, in the fashion industry. And we can integrate the fully flexible display, like Cicala Wind displays, into the leather for the new handbag design. It sounds so cool. And it's already reality here. So with this kind of a new fashion bag, you can per personalize the content with your own images, with your own content. And it's still flexible, lightweight. So this is a perfect combination of the tag and the fashion. We're also proud to work with our partner, Elbus, to put the fully flexible display into aircraft. Well, we can create some new scenarios for the aircraft applications. We can also re replace the traditional heavy displays to save the weight and save the fuel cost. So this is not just for innovation. It's for real values. You save the energy cost. You can enhance the safety. Well, have you ever imagined a tree with all of the leaves made of the fully flexible displays? Here it is. This is not a concept. This is our flexible tree with every leaf, with, with every leaf made by the fully flexible display. And you can actually change the content by wireless connection, by a smartphone. So it's a new way for media and advertisement. And this tree has already, has already installed in like hotel lobbies, in buildings, and in the airports. 
Well, we can also integrate the fully flexible display into the liquor bottle, into the wine bottle. This sounds so cool. Take a look at this. So we work with our partner, the well-known brand in China, Lu Zhou Lao Jiao. And we put our fully flexible display around the bottle, transparent, curved, so thin, and you can display high resolution videos or pictures. It's a new way for the advertisement and for the show. It's also a new way for the packaging. We also work with our partner Clear to create the Mirage smart speaker. So the Mirage smart speaker was officially launched at CES in January in Las Vegas. And it will go to the market very soon, hopefully next month. So we put our fully flexible display around the speaker and you can keep it 360 degree sound but then you can also have more interactions by the fully flexible display here. So it's totally different from all of the other smart speakers on the market. We work with sportswear company leading, leading brand, Lean In, and we put off fully flexible display for the, on the shelf to show the content for the shoes, for the sportswear, and it's just a new way for the retail store displays. So here's just a few examples. We can actually think about a lot of more applications based on fully flexible displays. And some of those kind of new applications are just totally different from uh, the traditional design. And it's just to provide you know, huge values for the customers. So, are we finished yet today? No. We actually brought the FlexBy 2 here today. I know many of you are actually curious about our FlexBy 2. The FlexBy 2, it's built on top of the third generation Cicada Wind fully flexible display. Not only this, we changed the hinge, we changed the folding structure. Now, it's called a 3S hinge. It's a proprietary technology developed in the company. It's super seamless and established hinge. There's no gap in between. And you can also actually stop the hinge at any angle from zero to 180 degrees. And it's super reliable. So we use anti-shock structure for better screen protection. We use aircraft grade materials like liquid metal, durable aluminum, titanium for the core parts. And it's manufactured on a high precision process. With the four to three aspect ratio for the uh, Cicada Wind display, we can get, we can actually enjoy a very immersive uh, experience for the FlexBy 2. And we also use the two stereo dual speakers. So if we compare our uh, FlexPi 2 to other foldable smartphones on the market, the FlexPi 2 has the highest movie playing area, has a maximum movie playing area. Well, typically the movie aspect ratio is 29 to 21 to 9 or 16 to 9. And for the FlexPi 2, the playing area of the movie is about 6.8 inch. And it's a lot bigger than other foldable smartphones on the market. And if we play like the 4 to 3 aspect ratio 
TVs, videos, or gaming. It's also the area for the Flex, for the Flex by 2, it's also uh, much bigger than others. This is actually very important because the foldable smartphone is targeting for the big screens, visual experience. Well, we also have the new 5G technologies for the FlexFi 2. For FlexFi 1, we support 4G, but not 5G. Now, we have the most advanced 5G technologies here. And it supports nine different bands globally. So the global coverage includes China, North America, Europe, Southeast Asia, and other regions. In terms of the hardcore components, we implemented the most advanced high performance components here. So we used the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor. And we use the new generation LPDDR5 as the new high-speed RAM. And also, we use the UFS 3.0 as the high-speed ROM. Many other things. Today, I actually have the FlexFi 2 in my pocket. So it's a lot thinner than the earlier generation. And then also, it's lighter weight. There's no gap for the hinge. Look at this. It supports our Water OS 2.0, the new operating system. So take a look at this. Wow. This is so cool. It's amazing. So I like this color. We actually have different color choice. Let's take a look at this again. So shiny. Sexy, right? All right, this is mine. So we're gonna have the official product launch for the FlexFi 2 in next quarter. Please stay tuned for more details. So with all of this, I wanna thank you for your time today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Our mission at the Royal is to transform the way people experience and interact with the world. The personal computer and the smartphone redefined our relationship with machines. We are at a similar crossroads now. We live in the world where the Internet of Things, empowered by platform technologies like AI, 5G, and human-machine interfaces, has become part of our everyday life. Our flexible interface technology will liberate us from the old ways of working and thinking, enabling better communication and interaction between people and machines, and moving us into a new era of possibilities. We are doing this through our proprietary fully flexible display and sensor technologies. Our unified hardware and software interface liberates the devices we use from rigid form factors. Our Flexible Plus platform enables users and partners to connect, 
and benefit from the development of new and innovative products and solutions. We believe our technology will become the dominant interface between humans and machines, unlocking the vast opportunities and applications that new human-machine interface will bring. Our technologies are not tomorrow's gimmicks. They are opening up real possibilities today. We are at the cutting edge of an industry forecast to be worth over $300 billion in 2025. Royals technology is already powering smart devices across industries as diverse as mobile devices, media entertainment, smart transportation, productivity, smart homes, education, and sports and fashion. We developed the world's thinnest, full-color, fully flexible display. Alongside proprietary flexible sensor technology, we have built the world's first commercial fully flexible display production line. We brought the first foldable smartphone with flexible display to market, a product which seamlessly transitioned between a mobile phone and a tablet. Innovation is in our DNA. We have the end-to-end -end capabilities to design, produce, market, and sell groundbreaking innovative products. Around 60% of our workforce work in our Silicon Valley and Shenzhen-based R&D centers, registering around 1,000 patents globally to date, with 1,800 more patent applications. We're leading the way both in innovation and investment, while other less experienced players will face huge barriers to entry at a scale. Royals Enterprise Partnership Strategy is to align with a large and growing global partner base. We want to be the partner of choice, whatever the sector. We are currently collaborating with over 500 enterprises across a broad range of industries. Companies like Airbus, Louis Vuitton, Linian, and China Mobile. For consumers, our products provide an integrated and user-friendly experience. One that clearly demonstrates the transformational appeal and innovation of our online technology. Royal is uniquely positioned to unlock the potential of the human machine interface. Join us. Together, we can unfold a new era, revolutionizing the way all of us interact with a new, truly flexible world.